Hello everybody, I'm Black Viper of Death, and this is Xenoclash. And last time I believe we had a little bit of a glitch. Hopefully it didn't send me too far back. Ooh, excuse me, too far back. Oh, am I still fighting Mr. Douchey Douche? No. These crabs are still annoying, but... Alright, well, seeing that I don't see him... Oh, am I? No. I'm not looking for him. I can't imagine why I would be. Oh, that's right, I need to talk to what's her face. Hello, what's her face? I'll keep watch and make sure he doesn't come back from the dead again. Cool. You go get Golem to come here. Oh, I sure will. Alright. Now I can leave. <laughs> Thanks, Crab, for destroying that little bridge. So now I'm going to get into a hand-to-hand -hand fight with Mr. Annoying. Just grab some yummy yums. Yum yum in the tum. That's that's good enough. Gollum, where are you? Oh, he's not here. All right. Thought I was gone already. Thought I was gone shoot. already. How well can you fight? To make it interesting, I'll have to keep one hand behind my back. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I completely forgot what to do. I remember kicking... Oh yeah, kicking butt. Ooh. It has been a while since I've played this game. Full disclosure. Ooh. Didn't want to risk it. Oop. Gotta remember to watch my stamina gauge and that I have a stamina gauge. Run. Run, buddy. Watch down. Bam! Looks like I'll have to take it soon. Now you have no chance. Hey now. Fighting dirty. Is not something you should be doing. Okay, no health. Oh, 
Ah, uh, stupid <sighs> cutscene. <laughs> I've had enough fun already. just now I said I would help you and that is what I'm doing where are you going to Halston what's the hurry it's kind of interesting that hey! we both Jack, got injured on, we have to follow him sorry that guy almost killed you let me help you up <clears throat> when he got scratched Implying some sort of relationship, but I don't know exactly what it would be. Can you remind us why saying. we're trying to get here instead of running away? Because once I get into the city, I can end all conflicts. I will open the gate, and in Halston, you will see how your destiny can change. Who is... You are being disruptive. <clears throat> As I said, you are being disruptive. And I don't appreciate that very much. Oh, hey guys. We were just, you know, having friendly talks and, you know, no, no reason to be angry. Uh, none at all. Oh, what is... I forgot what stupid grenade is. Middle mouse? Oh, hi. Sister. Fire! 
you guys just stop ganging up on me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't wanna die. Health. Alright, well I guess that worked. God, that sucks. And I completely forgot what stupid grenade is because it always freaking. I don't remember. Okay, what is... Remind me again what stupid grenade is. Throw a bomb. C? Hey, this is much better. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm not sure which weapon honestly is better. Kinda like this rifle though. <coughs> Ski 
Excuse me. Alright, let's get my health up. Uh, do I want a different gun? Because now would be the time. I, you know I do like pistols. Normally in games I like rifles. But in this instance... since I need melee anyway. Honk. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, he charged me. That's not very fair. Ow. What did I ever do to you, jerk? Mr. Elephant Man. You know, I'm not a big fan of these large creature battles. They're just not fun to really do. Uh, well... Rifle... Where is... Aha! This might be a better choice, going in... Guns are doing nothing. God. There's no room. Like, that's the biggest annoyance in this. Is that there's no room to do anything. They can charge me, and then stuff gets in my way. And then if they so much as touch me... I'm pretty much on my butt. But you fucking get the piece of fruit. This 
is why I don't like the Half-Life engine. Very imprecise. Luckily the elephant is doing something. I don't know what. I swear I get out of the way. At least that's one down. Fortunately, there's no more health for me to have. What? Baloney. See, that's exactly what I mean. Things get in my way. And then they can, they just have a free pass at me. And die. Dead yet? Spank your butt. Hmm, was that father, mother? I still remember how to fight you, you know.
Although, who came out? I see you. Bird brain. Gotcha. This is a problem. Behind you. A choice? I'm not going to tell. And I'm not going to kill you either. Oh. I do consider you my father and mother. You just have to stop me doing what you do with the children. Cat wouldn't tell you father mother has a secret, but I will. Things are going to change. Father mother is neither your father nor your mother. Well, at least I'm glad somebody is going to tell a secret. He is a male creature, incapable of giving birth to anyone or anything. He took each one of you away from your real fathers and mothers 
Well, that's just being rude. Okay. That's a really weird place to end the game. It... I mean, it really doesn't really answer anything. I mean, all these people are weird anyway, so I don't know, like, how... Okay, so, you know, Father Mother steals children. I get that. But why? It, you know, that just doesn't make sense. And why he would, you know replace the real children with like piggly ch children and other you know animals like and how do these like animal human hybrids form and that is very weird I'm kind of disappointed actually I mean I I mean, I know that there's a second game, and hopefully it, you know, it answers some of the questions that, um, the first one, you know, brings up. And hopefully it's gonna finish, I mean, it's loading something, or doing something, maybe I'm talking over something. Okay. Sorry, I turned my speakers off, but... Okay, so it's just like wind noise. I don't... Oh, okay, so that's what's going on. Okay, never mind. Anyways... Um... You know, it's, it's interesting. What is challenge mode? I'm assuming challenge mode is just a lot of fights. Which doesn't really interest me. Eh. It's, you know, it's an interesting game, but, and overall, you know, I'm still glad that I, uh, eventually got around to playing it. I mean, it's been so long since I've actually, uh, this is, like I said, this is like one of the first games that I bought. And, you know, it looked interesting, you know, that it has a different fighting mechanic. Now that I know it's on the Steam engine, it makes sense. Um, but overall, it wasn't really a great game. The story aspects were 
um, were interesting, but I don't know if it's interesting enough to play the second game. That being said, if you guys do want to see the second game, which I don't currently have, do let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to uh, consider getting it on Steam here and figuring out exactly what's going on, you know, but overall the story, I mean, it's Half-Life 1 engines, so there's only so much story you can really tell, but this seemed more like a, almost like a technical demo of what could be done with a, you know, reworking the Steam engine into a sort of first-person fighter, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, and it wasn't that much of a, hey, let's tell a, an actual coherent story. It was just more of like, hey, stuff was happening, and, oh, do you want, are you going to tell my secret? No, I'm gonna, not going to tell your secret. And then it's like, you're, you're alluding to things that you don't pay off on. And, you know, as part of, like, story, you can only infer so much, but they don't give you anything to really make assumptions on your own. There's just people you interact with. And, like, in terms of story, it's weak, you know, and even, you know, the fighting engine is interesting, but again it's problematic and maybe it's to do with the um, the Half-Life engine or you know th there's a lot of different things I could say about that but it just doesn't seem like a game that I would recommend to people and like I said, it's it's interesting, you know, vaguely interesting, but not enough that like if I were you know watching this video and watching me play this that, and I was like you you know and maybe I don't have this game. If I saw this game, I'd be like, well. There's not really much point to buying the game because there's really nothing to experience. It's very linear, there's no... there's not a lot of easter eggs. I mean, there were several challenges um, and achievements that I didn't do, but... It's not a game that I see that I would, you know, that I personally super enjoy. Um, you know, it was interesting to play, but that's kind of where the line gets drawn. But anyways, um, you know, thank you guys for joining me on this, you know, exploration of a game that I took way, way too long to play. Um, so next time, I'm not sure what game will replace this one. Um, and again, if you have any suggestions, do let me know in the comments below. But until that time, thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, remember to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!